Welcome to Deutsche Math September newsletter. We're solving a problem with, uh, with ratio in mind. This is a part two of four that's, um, that's part of fifth through eighth grade word problem set. The problem states raisins and nuts were mixed by weighting the ratio of two to three. If total of 60 ounces of mix were prepared, how many ounces of raisins were used? Well, let's get right to it. Let's solve this problem here. Solution. Okay. For the purpose of this problem, I am going to assume that pre-algebra pre has not been introduced to you so that the definition of variables or the concept of introducing variables are not quite comfortable for you yet. So we will solve this problem without introducing any variables. For next clip, we'll, we will solve the problem with both with variable and without the variable, then you can see the difference. So let's take a look at what's happening here. So let's say we have a ratio of two to three. So every two parts of ratio, every two parts of reason, we have to add three parts of, so I'll put a reason for R here, and we'll put an N for the nuts here. Um, well, as you can see, I had a more than what I needed, so let's see if I can find my little eraser here and erase this one out. All right. Okay, so for every two parts of reasons, we are given that there are three parts of nuts. So the question is, if we have a total of 60 pounds of mix, how much are the reasons within the 60 pounds? Now, the way I would like to solve the problem is to divide our, um, our domain here, if you want to call it. We'll put a ratios on this side, and we'll put actual numbers on this side. Now, the reason that we, we do that is this. As again, we'll draw this line. This is our work area, and this is our scratch paper area. If you have a ratio of 2 to 3, that could very well be 20 pounds of nuts and 30 pounds of um, sorry, 20 pounds of raisins and 30 pounds of nuts. Or it could be 40 pounds of uh, raisins and uh, 60 pounds of nuts. So as far as ratio is concerned, it doesn't really have real numbers attached to it. All it is, it's a ratio. That's what a ratio means. It's, it's simplified to the bare minimum. So what we needed to do is put the ratio on one side, and we know that this has no units, where the actual numbers, they have units. I'll write our units over here. Okay. So this is ratio of two to three. So for every two parts of reason, we have three parts of um, nuts here. Now, how do we go about solving this one? Now, if you notice, if I have a 60 pound for the whole five blocks, because I have two parts for regions and three parts for nuts. So if I were to drag this little one block out, not just for the reasons, but the blocks, you know, it's a, it's a square, it's the same ratio. So if this little block, as you can see, I've divided the 60 pounds into one, two, three, four, five, five parts. That says to me that this each one of this this each one of this little box here, it's 60 divided by five. This five is what we call the total. It's the ratio on this side is two for the reasons, three for the nuts, and the total is five. Now this five does not have units because it's on the ratio side, okay? So if each one of them has five, 60 pounds has five, then each one of this block becomes, as you guessed it, 12 pounds. Now from here, I'm all set to go in, in a way. The, the reasons I have two of the blocks, okay, each block is 12 pounds, so therefore I have 12 times 2, or 24 pounds of reasons, I-S-I-N's, um, and then I have um, three blocks for nuts, one, two, and three. We'll put our little n here. And then once again, each one of the n block is 12 pounds times three, or I have 36 pounds of nuts.
Okay. Now, I always say it's very important that you double check your work. So let's pick a little green color and let's do the double check over here. Let's double check our work. Okay. So we found that there's nuts is equal to 36 pounds. And we have our raisins, ours are 24 pounds. Okay. First, we're going to check the ratio. The R over N is equal to 24 pounds and 36 pounds. Okay. This ratio, if we're to simplify, both of them has eight goes, um, not six goes into it. So uh, 12, actually. The greatest common factor is 12. So I divide the top by 12, I have two. I divide the bottom by 12, I have three. So the ratio checks out. All right. Another thing we need to check is total weight. I have 24 pounds of raisins and I have 36 pounds of nuts. When I add it together, I will have 60 pounds of mixture. So this checks out. All right. Have a confident day.